You blew up my line all the same So tell me what's up Think you gon' play me, just know that I'm not one of them Feel like I don't know you, don't come out no invaders them. It's your boy Noto Coming to you another video Coming to you with another podcast, man And in today's podcast, we're gonna discuss Women will make a way for men they view as a select man what it's like to truly be desired by a woman if you're new here or you already been here i'm going to click that like button go ahead and comment go ahead and subscribe click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever i drop a video and without further ado let's go on and get into this topic man so thing is guys women will make a way and this test message here that i'm i'm showing you guys is that i was telling i was busy so i'm going to read it out for this chick that I'm talking to, you know, dealing with whatever, you know what I'm saying? He says, I was asking when you coming by. That's what you were asking me. I said, it'll have to be next week. I'm loaded with tasks this week. You know, I'm busy as hell. You see what I'm saying? So she was like, oh, gosh. I said, I know, right? I'm buried for real, for real. And I said, uh, she was like, sir. And I said, yes. She said, I'm going to bite you. By the way, you ain't got to come stay. All that's not necessary. I'll get up. Promptly take you where you need to go after Mr. Blank and I enjoy each other. And I reply, LOL, oh really? And she said, yep. Now, when she says I need to go where you need to go after Mr. Blank and I enjoy each other. The Mr. Blank is what she calls pretty much the man for me downstairs. She's pretty much giving him a name and all that stuff like that. My guys probably don't understand what that is, but that's basically what it is. They really into you. That your your uh your manhood got a name. Trust and believe. But the thing is, guys, the whole point of this is to show you that I said I was so busy, right? That I couldn't see her. That I didn't have the time to deal with her, another like that. And she find me so select she find me so attractive she find she desires me so much to the point where she's willing to fit anything she's willing to fit anything into the schedule she's willing to go out of her way and make it and not and not only is she going to make things happen make a way for things to happen on her end she's going to make the, the way for things to happen for it to even be convenient for you as well you see what I'm saying? So even though you can be like, well, I'm buried in tasks. I got all this stuff to do. I got everything in schedule, schedule. I'm telling you, they will find a slot that they can slide right into because this thing don't take no longer. She will find a 15 to 20 minute window within your schedule. Trust and believe. And she will make it to the point where it don't even hardly affect what you do. She will slide in your schedule like a nickel, like a freaking quarter in a bubblegum machine, bro. I swear. So this here, bro, like this is what it's really like for a chick to really, really desire you guys, man. This is what it's like when she has very, very high attraction, very, very high interest. But how to get there, basically, she has to initially find you attractive and you have some type of compatibility. But the most thing is you got to look at you as sexy. And then after all of that, and after you actually just talk to her for a little bit, you ain't got to do too much. Just don't say nothing too weird, especially initial phases, just initial phases. Because when she see you like that, it ain't too much you can do to mess it up. You really, literally got to like, me- like, like say, oh, I don't want to do this. Or act crazy like you want a psych ward or something for this to end. And even then, sometimes they'll try to make an excuse like, oh, you know, he might be crazy, but I still want to smash. I'm telling you, they will make every excuse in the world to be able to mess with a guy that they find sexy. Trust and believe me seen it happen plenty of times but i'm saying though once she views you that way and then you get in the bedroom and perform and knock it out of the park i'm telling you right now these are the type of messages you're going to be getting this is the type of things you're going to have to deal with you see what i'm saying this is what it's like for a woman to view you very very select as a select man this is when you have her respect as a select man because you can dominate her in the bedroom even if that's all y'all do this is the type of relationship we guys we see we we just really just smashing she chill she cooked food for me matter of fact she even uh she gave me a full body massage last night 
it's just to keep it a buck she said she she has some you know she be she be chilling it's a cool she's she a cool chick you know real cool chick we, we compatible we can speak we can have conversations all kind of stuff but even all that the main thing that she wants is the hot beef injection that's what it all really stems around all the other stuff is just add-ons but that right there is what is is what takes the cake for her and she will go out of her way to make that happen as you've seen in that text message that, that that is no joke guys a lot of guys don't understand that and for the guys that might be like no no why are you saying lol why are you why are you why are you check some chicks like that i can joke with a chick that i didn't smash and that i didn't that i didn't already uh made made that uh connection with for one that I already then took up and through there. See, the thing is, this I can tell a lot of these guys that be talking about how to text chicks and all this shit don't be getting no pussy or and stuff like that. It's because ain't no text message I didn't sent jokingly or nothing, nothing like that. A good morning text, none of that shit has ever stopped me from smashing. Never, never, guys, never. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That shit ain't never stopped me from getting. Money. That shit ain't never stopped me from being able to smash. So all that shit they talking about, uh, no, you shouldn't text me like that. Oh, don't laugh with it. Don't send a, a, a good morning text. Oh, don't say how you doing or how your day was and all that shit. She's going to lose respect for you. She's not going to. Man, fuck all that shit. Give a fuck if she lose respect. I bet she's going to be still calling to get that meat. See, that's that's an old thing. A lot of guys just feel like, oh, I got to have all these extra strategies, bro. All that shit. I keep telling you guys, once you perform and knock it out the park, before before that, she has to view as a select man, of course, before you even get to the point where she wants to bring you in a, a, a space like that to even be able to perform. That's the time that's leading up to it. But once you perform and knock the shit out the park, all these little cookie cutter ass shit like, oh, I got to text her this way. Or I will do this. Or I want to lose her or not. Bro, that shit ain't finna exist because she going to be. Bro, it's been time where she didn't got so mad at me. She ain't even want to speak to me or none of that. But she was like. Like I said before on that last on that last one, when that la that last message I showed y'all, she was like, is sex still good on the weekends? On the weekdays? Can we still have sex on the weekdays? She won't leave you alone. She don't give a fuck what y'all going through. You can be the nerdiest, geekiest dude or whatever. You knock that shit out the park and she found you would select at first. It didn't ma it doesn't matter, guys. That shit don't matter. That's what I'm trying to stress to you guys. This is what real is reality. This is the reality. Of when you knock it out the park this is the ultimate reality guys because i really want to get y'all out the mindset of this cookie cutter ass shit man saying no oh, i can't do this i can't do that and all this a lot of that stuff just happens in the initial stages so you just don't come off as too needy i i'll get that i'll get that but you meet a chick in person and stuff like that you know the, the, the initial phase i'll give it that i'll give it that but after all that and after you done broke the ice and then you didn't done that you didn't after you didn't smash the chick and she keep coming back fuck all that other shit you can tell her good morning all you want you, you can tell her good morning three times a day and more at, at morning time afternoon time and evening time and i guarantee you'll still be able to smash i still still be able to smash that's a guarantee now the only drawback with that is the only drawback with that is gonna be uh now i understand the part about the boyfriend energy now, and that's the, not what she's looking for. That can be a problem. That can be. But what it is, though, she'll bring it up and be like, okay, what are we doing? Is this what you, you're saying? You know, because trust me, they will, if they really value, they will have these discussions with you. So they want to know where they are with you. Okay, you, you're doing this. You, you're giving boyfriend energy. Uh, is this what we need to do? Or do we need to dial it back? Oh, trust me, you will have these negotiations. Trust me. So if, if she values you, to the point where she wants to keep you around, but if she feel like she want to pull back and all this other shit, no, she ain't finna pull back for no good D. Good D get negotiations. That's what that's what happens. Good D is select man, the the one she view, the one that's that that dominates her, that she gets fill out her, live out her sexual fantasies with fantasies with. He gets he gets negotiations. He gets the he, he get you get a whole jury, a court date, and all that shit whole discussion around the round table and all that shit that's what we get so all this other bullshit everybody oh she just gonna pull back and oh she gonna leave no she don't fucking like you like that motherfucker that's what that is she don't like you like that a lot of these guys bro you don't you're not real about where you are to these women you're not real about your position and the way the woman views you this is why a lot of guys get so mixed up no you get negotiations 
And if she feel like you're giving off too much boyfriend energy, she's going to be like, okay, what, what, what are we doing? Because, of course, you're going to get the water weeds. Or go, all right, you know what I'm saying? But she want to know what's up. Because if, if, that, if that's not what she's looking for, then, of course, she's going to be like, okay, this is not what I'm looking for. If this is too much for you, we can pull back. But even though she ain't going to want to pull back, she's going to still try to find a way for it to happen. Even if it's inconvenient for her. There's always a lot of talk about the woman saying the power of the pussy and power of this. We are uh, here. We got the POD. Power of the D. Power of the digging sticks. Shout out to stuff is cold. Power of that. You got to understand that. That that changes things. That th that'll cause a woman to do great compromises. I'm talking about the 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 biggest compromises you'll ever see will come behind that good D. That they they view as a guy that has good D on top of them being attracted to them. But the good D on if for somebody that knows something, you ain't got to be an attractive looking man. That's another thing. You ain't got to be no extra handsome man or extra attractive man if they if they deem you to have good D. Because uh, sexual sexual attraction is very, very uh, rampant when it comes to this. You see what I'm saying? And all this cookie cutter. Oh, I got to be this extra handsome and extra this and that. That's the reason I honestly don't want to keep calling it that because i want to speak more on from being on a select perspective and i'm not just to keep it a buck when i say handsome and stuff like that to me on this on this end a lot of guys look at it as being a pretty boy and shit like that i understand i have nothing against people who make the content it's just the it's just the stigma behind it and that's not what i want to want to promote because people guys want to hear that if i'm his handsome guy she's just going to fall for me and all this shit and it's just not the truth it's just not the truth. Now, you'll, you'll get the initial size. You'll get the choosing sentinels. But it all comes down to being select in their eyes. It all comes down to what do they view you? What what do they feel you as sexually? What 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 plane do they put you in sexually? How did you make them feel? What does your aura say to them once you come into that room and once they view you? What That's, what it's, that's what's going to make the, that's the big determination. That's, that's what's going to determine everything. So all this, oh, I got to be extra attractive. And no, that's not the truth. Because shout out to Ron Wills, the guys that's tearing up, tearing up the women, got some rough look to their face. It just is what it is. So you feel like you got to be a runway model and all this other shit, bro. I'm just going to tell you right now. You're going to be horribly disappointed. And the horror of your mind will be blown. You see the dudes that are taking these extra, extra beautiful chicks up and through there. <laughs> and guess what? I'm one of them. So even though I got a I got a good face, but at the same time, I, I look rough a lot most of the time. I look rough most of the y'all seen my videos. I look rough most of the time, and I work a warehouse job, so I got that thing going for me too. Going the I got the whole roughneck thing looking, you know, going for me. So don't just sit there and think you got to be these pretty boys and all this shit here. Just, just keep it a buck. I understand the handsome man's game. Like, I understand that, but the stigma around it is what i don't agree with that's why i don't like because it promotes that you know you have to have this certain image and people you know you feel like you got to be a movie star looking role dude in order to get women and that's not what i want to promote and that's not what i've been through because even in my extra non-select days when i was still tearing up women too i was still tearing up women too even when my face was fat but i still had the body i still had the sex appeal because the way I joke, talk and joke on here and shit like that, that ain't the way I talk to chicks. It's just as, it is as what it is. And even when I joke with them, I still I have I I I've become so adept at mode switching that they don't even know what to expect. So I'm really like unpredictable to them. I'll be joking with her one day, you'll be like, oh, she didn't lose respect for you. And then another day I'll be song, I'm talking calm like I am now. Just hey, how you doing? Another day I could be like, hey, what's up with you? You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, you wanna you wanna hang out sometime? No, I joke with them, but they I, the whole key is i just be unpredictable i'm unpredictable she don't know how i'm gonna act one way or another this day but one thing for sure and one thing for certain and one thing for certain that she knows is on, gonna happen on a consistent basis is that i'm gonna knock that shit out the park every time we hit the bedroom every time if, if nothing else if nothing else you can be unpredictable everywhere else or whatever but one thing she know for certain that you gonna tear that shit up in the bedroom and a lot of guys trying trying to out trying to run trying to run away from that let's just keep it a book this is what it is to truly be desired by a woman because once you knock it into the boots that's what happened that's what creates 
way more chances for you this is what creates so much compromise for you this is what makes them turn into detectives this is what makes them go out of their way to make things happen for you this is what makes them slide through in your schedule like a credit card and slide right on now transaction approved but this isn't transactional trust and believe trust and believe this is purely sexually in lust purely lust you don't gotta have no money and none of that stuff i banged back chicks sleeping at my sleeping at my mama house on the couch and they had their own houses and their own cars and all kind of shit i had to go to their shit smash on them or sometimes they'll be over here the couch on the couch will be at sometimes it's been times so let's just keep it a buck let's just keep it a buck on that so uh i just wanted to show you something with you guys because want to like just give you like a little bit of insight of what it's like for women to actually desire you but once you exhibit that sex appeal exhibit the fact that she can see you visually see you banging her shit out Vis physically see you that you're strong and that you can dominate her that is what really does it look like you can take her up and do that that's what's gonna do it but anyway it's your boy noto coming to you another video coming to you another podcast if you're enjoying the content you want to click that like button go in the comment go to subscribe click that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i drop a video and remember guys anybody can improve themselves if they wouldn't work at it i'm out I'm biting in person, ain't really the type to go running and jump on the internet. I come like a virus, take over the system, and then I appear like a public threat. Might call up a bitch and then have a record, I'm not bumping my shit while she get me neck. Don't get it fucked up, cause I do hit the gym and I know that she's digging my silhouette. I really don't fuck with too many, my trust ain't the same, I'm just keeping that shit a stack. Cause if niggas try me, I get unpredictable, fuck it, I get to just seeing black. You mess with the fam, I'ma hit you with 10 with a little bitches, I ain't talking Mac. But I ain't no killer, don't push me to saying the looking, so watch how to touch my back. Yeah, 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 bitch, I'm glad it's smooth, I'm dropping bars, fresh out the penitentiary. And yeah, I put them on.